Mm -hmm. Hey, Mom, I'm back from school. Hi, sweetie. Did you have a good day? It sounds like it. I had a great day. But what I'm more excited about is going to the mall with Becky. Today, after school? Yeah, she promised me. She promised her and I would hang out at the mall. Where is she? She's in her room. She's in your girl's room, but okay. Larissa, wait. Look. Results still aren't up. Come on, your audition went obviously well. Maybe they're considering it. Maybe they need more time to review your tape. I don't know. I mean, all they tried out for was The Wizard of Oz and Dorothy. Well, I hate to break it to you, but a lot of people auditioned for that role, including me. But I'm more excited about you because I don't have much experience. You have all the experience. Well, thank you, but be... Oh, my God. The results are up. What's that, Dorothy, Dorothy? Yes! I'm Dorothy's understudy. Understudy? Oh my gosh. I wanted this part more than anything. How can I not get it? I did so well. Well, who's your understudy? You are. You got Dorothy. I thought you were the understudy. I am the understudy, but you got the part of Dorothy. Really? I got Dorothy? I mean, <clears throat> I got Dorothy. Mary Grace, you don't have to pretend you're not happy about it. I'm sorry, Becky. I really am. Hey, I know we'll cheer you up. Let's go to the mall. I don't want to go anywhere. So I see sitting in your bed soaking is the answer, right? Just go, okay? Well, can't you at least congratulate me? Congratulations, now leave me alone. Hey, Becky, ready to go? Go where? To the mall. You said you and I would go to the mall today. Larissa, I really don't want to go to the mall today. But you promised me. I know I did. Maybe in the mall. Why don't you want to go to the mall today? I'm too upset. What are you upset about? I didn't get the part of Dorothy. What part did you get? I didn't get into the play at all. And I don't see why not. I'm, I can act, I can sing, I can dance. I don't know how I could not have gone. I'm her understudy. An understudy, how pathetic is that? I'd have to wish that Marie Grace got sick. Wait a second, Marie Grace got the part of Dorothy? Yeah. And I know I should be happy for her, but I'm not. I'm furious with her. Why are you mad at her? Because she took my part. She's a thief. Now stop it. You know you don't mean those words. You and Marie Grace have known each other forever. And you should be happy for her. How can I be happy for her when she took something I wanted and took it away from me? It's not like she did it on purpose. Come on, let's go to the mall. Would she, that would cheer you up. No, it won't. Just leave me alone. You know, you promised you'd take me. Just leave me alone. Fine, whatever. I'll be in the study. I don't care, do what you want to. <laughs> Go away. Back at your mother. Mom, can you come in? What's wrong, honey? I heard slamming, I heard people slamming doors and I heard you and your sister arguing and your friend Mary Grace left the house pretty upset. I'm a failure, mom. Now what makes you think you're a failure? I don't think I am, I know I am. You saw the play results? What, yeah, why, did you? No, but I have a feeling you're disappointed about something. You didn't get Dorothy? 
I'm her understudy. But that's not the worst part. Well, what is? Marie Grace got to be do gets to be Dorothy. I have to hope that she gets sick or breaks a leg or something for me to actually be Dorothy. Do you really want Marie Grace to be sick or to hurt herself just so you can be Dorothy? She's really my friend and knows how much I want the part. She would fake being sick or something. I think you're being very unfair and selfish. Maybe I am, but I wanted this part more than anything. She just wanted to try out for the experience. I wanted the part of Dorothy. And I'm not only going to not be in the blame, an understudy. How can I go to rehearsals watching her be Dorothy and me just studying how she does it? Letting her take the spotlight. I'm the one who wants to be an actress, not her. I see. What? You're so angry that you didn't get the part and that your best friend did. That you're willing to ask her to hurt herself or to pretend she's sick just so you can get the party worthy. She's really my friend. She'd do it for me. You know, I'm very disappointed in you. If I was lucky enough to get a lead in the musical, if I was as talented as you and didn't get something and my friend did, I would gladly accept it and congratulate. Do you at least congratulate Marie Grace for getting Dorothy? Why didn't you? Because I was mad. Are you mad are you mad at her for getting the part of Dorothy or are you mad at you? Or are you mad at yourself for not getting it? Do I have to answer that? Yes. I guess I'm more angry with myself. I wanted to be the best. Honey, you are the best. Then why didn't I get Dorothy? Just because someone's the... Nobody wins all the time, honey. And where's your sister? She's in the study. I told her to leave me alone because I was so mad. But anyway, what were you saying? What I was saying is that you're the best at being a big sister. You're the best at being my older, oldest child. That's not the answers I want, though. I wanted Dorothy more than anything, Mom. And Mary Grace is taking it from me. I don't think she means to take it from you. But I'm disappointed with the way you're handling it, hoping that Mary Grace gets sick so you can get the part. I mean, what kind of a friend is that? hate when you're right. I do too, but often I am. Give Mary Grace a call. Fine. I'll be in the living room if you need me. Okay. <sighs> Hello? Hey. It, it, it's Rebecca. I wanted to say I'm sorry I was going to call you. You can't apologize to me. Why? Because I was going to apologize to you for being so jealous, for be acting like such a jerk. That's not what friends do. I'm sorry. I was just so upset about not getting the part of Dorothy that, that, listen, Rebecca, if you'd be quiet for two seconds, you'd hear what I have to tell you. What? I talked to the director and I told her I didn't want to be Dorothy. So you get to be her. What? Why did you do that? What do you mean? You're the one that said I should. I was being selfish and petty and even jealous. You didn't have to do that for me. Well, I wanted to. This means more to you than it does to me. How did I become so lucky to have a great friend like you? I don't know. I don't deserve to have a friend like you. Are you sure you want to do this? I already emailed the, direct, the play director. You're in. Rehearsals start tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Do you want to come over? Sure. All right, just give me an hour and I'll, I'll, I'll see you then. Okay. Thank you so much, Mary Grace. You really didn't have to. All right, I'm going to go. Bye. Quick.
well over the rainbow, way up high. Hey, Larissa. Hey. Are you okay now? Yeah. Mary Grace and I had a talk and actually Mary Grace called me after she left and told me that she emailed the play director so I get to be directing the play. Your friend did that for you even after the way you treated her? I know. Mary Grace is the best friend I could ever have. I even offered to give her her part back, but she said no. It means more to me than it does to does to her. And I, I don't know what to do. I was horrible to her. She's not your only problem. What other problems do I have? I'm mad at you because you promised to take me to the mall, and you didn't because you were too wrapped up in your self-pity. I'll tell you what. I'll take you and Marie Grace out to the mall. When? Tonight. I'll take you out to make up for the promises I broke and I'll make, I'll take Mary Grace to thank her for giving me that part. You really want me to hang with you guys? I sure do. I really do. I was acting like a jerk and just acting so selfish. And I'm sorry, I did promise I would take you to the mall. You don't mind if I bring Mary Grace with us, do you? Mind? Of course not. I always wanted to hang with the big girls. Great. Go get ready. We're going to be leaving in an hour. I'm going to go talk to mom for a, few, for a little bit. Okay. So where is this, when is this Mary Grace girl coming? She'll, she'll be here any minute. I told her to she said she'd be here in an hour. I'm really proud of you for taking your sister along with you, Marie Grace. I'm proud of her too. Thanks. I kind of owed it to her, and I certainly owe it to Marie Grace. I can't believe she gave up that part for me. Well, you were angry about it. I know, that's why I feel guilty. <sighs> and having the part doesn't feel as good as I thought it would. Why not? Well, there's all these lines to remember and rehearsals like every day. Mary Grace loves to keep busy with things like that, but me, I have a life. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna give the part back to Mary Grace. But didn't she already send an email to your to your choir to, to your drama coordinator? Yes, yeah, she did. But I'm gonna talk to Mary Grace and have her email them and say she wants to be in it. Will they allow that? I hope so. Ding dong. Come on in. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah, uh, Mom, can we read Grace and I talk alone in my room before I go? Hurry up. I'll meet you in your room. Okay. What are you going to talk to her about? I'm giving my part back to her. I can't do this. I feel too guilty. I'm proud of you, honey. Thanks. Man, why doesn't that girl just make up her mind? Don't worry about this, Larissa. So what's up? Need help practicing for the play? I'm not going to need any help. Oh, aren't we cocky? No. Mary Grace, I've been doing a lot of thinking. You deserve to be in that play. I thought you said that acting was your thing. It is, but that doesn't mean that I can't get rejected once in a while. An understudy's not too bad, and I shouldn't have said that I hope you get hurt or sick so I could be Dorothy. I'm giving the part back to you. No, I gave it to you. And like I said, I'm giving it back to you. I don't want to get a part in the school play no matter how big the character is. This isn't the way I want to get it. So I want you to email Mr. Koreski and tell him we want the part back. I'll even type in an email myself and tell him that I'm going back to being an understudy. I'll fake an excuse. I'll fake a good head cold or something. You don't have to do that. I know I don't, but I want to. And I feel so guilty about the way I acted. 
I'm really sorry. You really want me to be Dorothy? Yes. And I'll be there opening night in the front row with a bucket of tomatoes. <laughs> Thanks. I really was excited about being Dorothy, but I just felt bad for making you feel bad. You didn't make me feel bad. I made myself feel bad. Now, can we just hug so we can get to the mall? <laughs> Love you. Love you too.